You know, I was really looking forward to AEW Fight Forever, a game that takes the approach of recapturing the flair of the old WWE games and bringing it into the modern age. I like the WWE 2K games a lot, but to play something different and get some variety as a wrestling gamer is something. And what can I say? That's exactly what they did. AEW Fight Forever is really entertaining from a gameplay point of view, and that in a very unique way. Yes, and it doesn't take itself seriously, but that's what makes it special. Even the cheap explosion of AEW Revolution is there. The explosions, the blood, the violence are just completely over the top, and it makes it so much fun. You just get lost in the matches because you try so much bullshit and it just works. This all sounds very positive, but still the game seems to be dead. Or dying. Where the game at release with over 1,400 players online at the same time could start a great start are now just 60 players, and that on a Saturday evening, and now only the data from Steam, but should look similar on the consoles. For comparison, the bad WWE 2K20 currently still has just round about 40 players. At least you can no longer find players online so quickly. But what is the reason for that? The biggest problem is simply the scope. The fans have been waiting for the game for an eternity, and what they finally got is quite little. Exhibition mode with a few matches that can't be changed. At some point, everything feels the same, especially tag team matches always run the same. It doesn't help that the game is a complete sandbox in terms of crazy wrestling. The story mode Road to Glory is boring as hell. Storylines that are simply canceled, filled with pointless side activities like sightseeing, going out to eat, but also the gym. I just don't need it, and it feels more like they put it in the game to stretch the playtime. What I also didn't need were the mini games. Yes, they are fun to play with friends, but they are no Mario Party AEW edition. The creation modes is also very limited and no comparison to the WWE 2K games. Online is quite nice, works most of the time, is probably also the only point why you can get the game out from time to time. I see here already the first writing that yet what should be brought into the game. There's no point to feed it with new content if the players are long gone again. Even if this Stadium Stampede Battle Royale mode looks really entertaining, but probably also chaotic, that will not save the game. The player base is now also not as large as we went earlier, but that may be due to the general price, $59.99, where according to Amazon the recommended retail price should be is simply too much for the game. I was before release myself still the opinion that the game should cost around $40, which in my opinion would also be a reasonable price for the game. But round about $60 with the connection with this quality of the graphics scares off many. Graphics are not everything, of course, but that's how you catch many players. If the game had cost $30 or maybe $40, some players would probably have overlooked the not-so-great graphics. What about you guys? Did you buy it? If yes, how do you like it? If no, why not? Also, the price-performance ratio of the DLC packages is a joke. $12 for two new wrestlers? That can't be true. The Hardys cost only $5, but that should be the exception. After all, they were the pre-order bonus. I know the comparisons with the WWE 2K23 are unfair since both games simply do not compete with each other. One relies on arcade, the other on simulation. But in WWE 2K23, a DLC pack with six wrestlers costs in the single purchase $10. In addition, you know with WWE 2K when they releases, but not with AEW Fight Forever. It is only said that they come, but what exactly and when? No one knows exactly. Probably not even the developers themselves. Six weeks after release, only the already mentioned Stadium Stamped match was announced. That's it. Not even when it releases at all. By the way, I am there anyway, the opinion that one should make this mode possibly free of charge and make the whole Fortnite of the wrestling scene. In the end, you can say that Fight Forever is a really fun wrestling game, but due to the small scope and the pricing policy, the news tightens further and further.